Aloha, welcome to Real Talk with Sandy. I'm Sandy Hale, retired nurse and Redan and Fields consultant for the last six and a half years. Today's business video, we're gonna get into some real talk. And I'm gonna go over with you guys why some consultants are successful and why some are not. And there are three reasons, and I'm gonna touch on these three reasons. And I want to share this with all of you because if you have found this video because you are thinking about becoming a Redan and Fields consultant, know that if you can check these three off your list, you'll be up there with the successful ones. And you'll be added to that list. And I've seen a lot in these six and a half years. So the first reason why some are successful and some are not is they are committed. The ones that are successful are committed to working their Rodan and Fields business for the long haul, all right? This is not a get rich quick scheme. This is not, you know, you start it and the next day, all of a sudden you're making five and six figures a month, right? This is a business and we need to work it. The ones that I see that are not committed, they join the business, they kind of attempt to get their feet wet, right? Some will stick it out for maybe a week or two and maybe they don't get the results they wanted, maybe they shared it with two people and those two people said no or it wasn't for them, they get discouraged and they're out. If you are committed to working this business and doing it for the long haul, you will become a successful Redan and Fields consultant. If you talk to any network marketer, especially within our business with Redan and Fields, they will tell you that this is a three to five year career. Majority of us start this business when we had a full-time job. That was me, I was a full-time nurse when I found Redan and Fields. I've had some partners of mine that where had a full-time job plus a part-time job and then Redan and Fields was their third. I've even met several who Redan and Fields was their fifth job. They already had four going on and they said yes to r &F because they didn't want to keep having to work four jobs just to make ends meet. So if you've got the commitment, if you are saying, yes, I'm committing to work Redan and Fields I'm committing to stick it out. I'm going to give this three to five years. You will find success, okay? That is the first reason why some succeed and some do not. The second reason why some are successful and some are not is coachability. If you are coachable and willing to step outside your comfort zone. And when I say step outside your comfort zone, as an example for myself, I am not a social butterfly. I am not the person who would just, you know, walk into a party or go shopping and I'm just talking to complete strangers. That is not my comfort zone at all. So even going out there and in inviting people to come and listen, that was a little bit, um, that was scary for me. It was scary for me to talk to my coworkers and share the products and share the business, right? If I was at work and there was a coworker of mine who, you know, was unhappy because, yeah, they didn't get the schedule they wanted. Yeah, they were told they would be able to work day shift and now they're working night shift, right? I would bring up, look, I can help you with that we should talk, let me share with you what I'm doing, but that was still out of my comfort zone, but I was coachable. I did these things. When I was told Sandy hand out samples, you know, see who would wanna try a mini facial. I was coachable, I listened, and I did those things. And it's the coachability. A lot of times, the ones that are not successful are because they let the fear overtake them. So they don't step outside their comfort zone. They don't push themselves. One of the greatest quotes that I love to share with people is in order to get something you've never had, you have to be willing to do something you've never done. 
And so that's where stepping outside your comfort zone and being able to let people know you are open for business and then following up to help them. Rodana Fields Consultants, we are the solution to so many problems, whether it be skincare solutions, whether it be income solutions, whether it be time solutions, this really is smart business. And so if you who are watching this can check off coachability and saying, yes, I am willing to be coachable, you will become a successful Redan and Fields consultant. And the third reason why some are successful and some are not is consistency. The successful consultants are consistent. What does that mean? It means you don't work your business two days and then don't do anything for a month and then jump back in it again and say, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And then you work maybe a week and then you say, ah, and then you stop. If you are going to continue to start and stop and start and stop, there is no momentum. There is no traction. And guess what happens? Who wants to be loyal to somebody whom they cannot trust, right? If there was a store that I wanted to go to and they had business hours open, you know, it, it was out there on the door, but every time I went, for some reason, it wasn't open during business hours, I would stop going. I would stop driving out there because I would feel like, well, they're untrustworthy. This sign says that they should be open, but they're not. It's the consultants that are consistent. And the ones that I told you in the beginning with the commitment, maybe they were working four jobs, right? Some were working four jobs and Redani Fields was their fifth job. It is not the time amount spent. So it's not, you'll be more successful because you spend five hours a day and somebody else can only spend an hour a day. It is consistently, purposefully utilizing that time and making that hour work for you. When I was still working as a full-time nurse and I put in 12 or 16 hours in a day, I was still so set on making this business work that what I did was I used Facebook and I would make sure that I sent out five messages on Messenger because I knew sending it on Messenger wouldn't wake anybody up, right? Here I am, I'm awake at uh, 12.30 or 1 a.m. Most people are not and I didn't want to be texting anybody. I didn't want to be calling anybody at that time. So I utilized Messenger and I made sure that I sent out a minimum of five and then I showered and I went to bed. Even if I only gave it 10 minutes, I made sure that it was purposeful. If anybody had messaged me back, I would make sure that besides sending out those messages, I answered them again via some type of message so that I wasn't waking them up at that time. So it's you being consistent in the activities. It is for us to let people know, educate them, right? Give them that knowledge of sharing what our products do and what this business does. That is literally what we do. That's it. That's what a consultant is. A consultant is somebody who consults, right? We share our knowledge. We share the solutions that we have to the problems that others have. That's what a consultant is. And going back to uh, the first one really quickly with commitment, let me just share with you that it is very important when you are looking for a sponsor, a business partner, somebody to join Redan and Fields, you want to make sure that they are also committed. I have seen consultants sign on with somebody who wasn't committed, who was just trying it out and their sponsor after maybe a month or two was no longer there. So then they felt like, okay, who's going to coach me? Who's going to train me? Right? I've actually seen consultants then uh, terminate their consultantship 
and then because they are determined and they know that this business really truly can change lives they then go and look for a sponsor or an upline who is committed so if you are watching this video and you are thinking about becoming a Redan and Fields consultant know that I would love to be the one to help you mentor you train you I have been a part of this business like I said almost seven years now October will be my seven year red anniversary so if you can check those three off guys you are on the right lane for success subscribe to my channel I put out product videos and I put out business videos every week and like I said, I will put my link below and I would love to be able to help you, mentor you and really, you know, if you could, if you want to join me on this Redan and Fields journey, your journey, I will be there to help you along the way and help you to grow and move as quickly or as slowly as you would like. Aloha.